to another edition of Tip of the Spear. I'm County Commissioner Dave Strohmeyer. I am joined here today at Milltown State Park with County Commissioner Josh Slotnick and Commissioner Winita Vero. I don't know about you guys. It is going to be a scorcher today <laughs> in Missoula, it. Montana. You got it, brother. And Over. I bet there's going to be a lot of folks down here uh, enjoying this lovely spot. Uh, what do you guys think about uh, <laughs> recreation use in this lovely piece of Montana real estate? Well, we're headed into another 100 degree day and a string of 100 degree days. And as I was saying earlier, today we will see everyone and their sister, brother, cousin, and dog in the river, as we have seen for the last couple of years. So this level of river use that we've seen uh, brought to our attention the impact that users have, not just on each other and their own experience, but on neighbors. So we took some steps in the recent past to address some of this impact. We were able to work closely with our sheriff's department, and now we have three school resource officers who are deputies working schools in the school year, also patrolling river sites in the summertime. But at the end of last year, our SRO said they needed more bodies on the ground, not people with arrest authority, but people with knowledge on how to do recreation management and the willingness and excitement to provide education to all of these users. Because as I was told, people mostly want to do the right thing. They're just not always sure what the right thing is to do. We were able to work with Fish, Wildlife and Parks, the City of Missoula, the Clark Fork Coalition to create this river ambassador program. So we have four folks who are moving between our highest action river access sites and are going to provide education and direction to users. And we are expecting yet a record number of users today. And what does that look like? So I'm here yeah. ready to what? enjoy the, the, the Black right. or the Clark Fork. Yeah. Which and no longer going... has a dam here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's free flowing. Free flowing. As Juan pointed out, we can do big things. So let's say Juan and her friends pull up over there, come kind of down Tamarack, and they're like, oh, this is a good spot under this bridge. There's the river right there. I'll just park here. And I'll be in downtown in a minute. And they look up and they see Charlie or MJ, who would come up to them and say, hey, thanks for coming. What a beautiful day. Just so you know, parking is up there, and there's actually bathrooms up there, and you're not supposed to park here. And Juan would say, oh, thanks, because I want to park in the right place. And she'll head off to the right place. And then maybe they'll wander down here by the river and talk to some folks who are enjoying a cold beverage from one of our four dozen breweries. And they'll just remind them, you know, you should make sure and bring your bottles out. Oh, and here's a mutt no mitt bottles. so you can no pack bottles. your dog poop out because, you know, Ico is enjoying the cold water as well. So I'm here with two of our river ambassadors, MJ and Charlie. MJ, can you tell me uh, what's, a, what's a day like for a river ambassador? What sort of things are you all doing? What are you concerned with? Yeah, no, absolutely. So as river ambassadors, the two biggest things we're concerned about is one, safety, and two, sustainable recreation. Um, because as you said earlier, that uh, people generally want to do the right thing. They just might not know what that is. And so we're just being that resource for people. Great. Thanks, man. Yeah. So Charlie, what, what should people know when they come down here? Uh, you know, come prepared. You know, there's going to be uh, potentially some crowding at the river access points, so be sure to launch as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, bring whatever supplies you might need to be safe and comfortable on the river, be it water so you stay hydrated or sunscreen. The sun can be real bright out there on the water. Uh, we'll have river bags at your put-in and take-out points to uh, collect cans and trash. You want to make sure to leave no trace as part of a, that responsible use of the resource of this wonderful river we have rolling through town. So how about, how about dogs? Uh, dogs are allowed at our access points, but they need to be leashed and under control at all times. Um, dogs on the river are fine, um, but you need to, you know, be aware of your dog's abilities. That's great. A great. Of Thanks. So we're headed into a holiday weekend and triple digits. And as my friend Juanita had said, we are as a society are quite, not quite yet in river shape yet. We're just beginning. So uh, be careful out there and be thoughtful and look for our river ambassadors. Thanks a lot.